We are going to be doing an overview of the O train in Ottawa. Alright, so before we get started, we're going to do a quick overview of Ottawa. So, if you don't know, Ottawa is the capital city of Canada and is one of the largest cities in Canada. The second largest city in the province of Ontario, Ottawa is situated in between the provinces of Ontario and Quebec. So the city of Ottawa proper is in Ontario, but its general metropolitan area, known as the Ottawa Gatineau area, is between Ottawa and Quebec. However, Ottawa Transit is run by OC Transpo, and that's only the Ontario part, as it is two different municipalities. Now, unlike Toronto, Ottawa never had a subway system built for it in the- That was a bird. Unlike Toronto, Ottawa never had a subway system built for it in the 50s and 60s. Thus, Ottawa has had to rely much on buses and has a very unique set, set of busways throughout the city. However, in the past 10 years, Ottawa has done a lot for its transit in terms of having a light rail system built. But this light rail system is unique as it functions a lot more like a metro as it is completely grade separated and is usually built out of upgraded busways. Now, of course, this part currently is just a busway, but there will be trains soon. As you can see, unlike a street running BRT, this busway is completely grade separated, it means it's much, much faster, oh, and it means that these busways can be, in the future, upgraded to trains much easily. So we've arrived and we're at the intersection between the Herdman Line 1 station and the Transit Way, or the Bus Expressway, um, and the station is quite nice. This is actually a big theme in Ottawa's transit usage, which is that Ottawa often creates busways first and then replaces them with trains. Their busways often are also like not just like street running BRT but fully grade like separated. Um, this also is why the Ottawa light rail actually runs more like a light metro because there are no grade crossings on the O train. This is because of security concerns after a number of prominent incidents on other North American light rail systems that prompted them to simply have no grade crossings. And there are five minute headways, it says three minutes and eight minutes, which is pretty good. Elevated rail is very cool. So now's a good time to do a quick overview over the extension of the O train. So, if you didn't know, Ottawa is currently in the process of almost, well, basically, no, they are doubling their current light rail amounts. Um, and so, where is this going to go? So they're extending line one, the Confederation line, which is the current regular light rail line, in both directions. That is to the east and to the west. And on the western side of the Confederation line extension, it's going to be branching out and they're going to have actually two interlined lines, line one and line three. Then there's going to be line two, which is the current Trillium line, which is run right now as a DMU, diesel multiple unit, but as you saw in my last video, is now a diesel electrical multiple unit using Sadler flirts, will be extended more towards the south and a little bit towards the southwest. And it'll be a fourth line, which is going to be an airport shuttle that connects into line two, giving Ottawa the new, making Ottawa the newest Canadian city to have an air rail link. Now, in addition to this, Ottawa has several bus rapid transits and or their busways that I talked about previously in this video. Which tend to work alongside the light rail lines, as well as the extension of the light rail lines mirroring it, and connecting different points along the light rail lines, such as the Herdman Transitway. Ottawa has also changed a lot of their local bus routes, which again are quite well used and have a lot of park and rides, to work more as feeder buses onto the light rail line, thus increasing ridership and making a much more efficient light rail system. There's like little arrows on the ground. We're going to be riding on not this train, but uh, this train, Confederation Line train. Now, as the train comes into the station a bit slower than expected, what people from Ottawa are probably screaming at me to tell you is that there have been a lot of issues with O-Train Line 1. And although these issues have become less prevalent, they are still there. Such as in the winter, catenary poles being free frozen and the trains just not being able to run, as well as several derailments when it was first installed. On that note, the rolling stock of this line, the Confederation Line, or Line 1, is the Alstom Citadel Spirit, which has a capacity of 190 to 370, depending on configuration, definitely not enough doors, and a maximum speed of 90 km per hour.
the big issues on the O train is that there's only two doors per car, even though they get lots of service. This is especially exacerbated at the end stations where it still is not fully converted from busway, which is basically a big bottleneck or a choke where a lot of people are getting on and off at those stations and there's lots of delays. The doors have also been breaking a lot. Hopefully in the future, they can upgrade this into a full metro or just get trains with more cars, but that's in a long time from now. Right now, when they fix, when they finish transferring all of the busway, or more of the busway at least, into train, there will not be as many of those choke, holy, choke <laughs> bottlenecks, which should make the train run a lot smoother, because again, a lot of people are trying to get in and out through just one door. So we're here at Tremblay station, which is where the Via uh, Center is. And the... <laughs> My stuff is falling. Now we're at an underground station. Look at that art. Sorry, yeah, the bird was being loud. Okay, so... Oh, this is like... This is... Huh. Anyways, um, this is a good time to mention that there is actually a subway section of the O-Train, so it does go underground, and... um. Yeah, that's it. I don't know why I set all of this up just to do that one take. So we're now at Tremblay, which is the current end point of the, of the line, but it will be extended, and we're going to take the bus that currently goes in that direction. And so this is the busway part of it, and it just continues that way, and this will be replaced by the train. Taking the 25 millennium. Now what you might be able to notice as I record is that there is a bit of a fence in the middle and that's because there is a highway median train construction right now going on and that's where most of the extension of line one will be along a highway median. Now of course highway median construction isn't always the best type of transit because it's not the most accessible and doesn't lead to very good transit oriented development. However, Ottawa does do pretty good with its pedestrian bridges and of course these are getting into more of the peripheral, peripheral rural areas. Look at that, we're on down the station. The future one. Now it's also a good time to mention that Ottawa is an incredibly rural city as well as urban, as it's very large after being amalgamated under the Micara series around 20 years ago. This makes Ottawa one of the most physically large cities in Ontario. The nice thing about O-Train stations is that they have a map of the station at each station very easily accessible, as well as a map of their entire network that I showed on screen a little bit before now. As well, there are very easily accessible ticket machines that also sell Presto cards. Buy tickets, but also use the same card, the Metrolinx card, also known as the Presto card, that's used on the TTC and the GoTrain systems, as well as generally Greater Toronto and Hamilton area services. Also use a Fairgate system, the proof of payment system that's common around North America. Trains are accessible with two elevators actually at this specific station. Train level, we also have a lot of bus alerts that we can very easily see, and again, that same wayfinding. You can see most of it is elevated or at grade, but like grade separated at grade. Ottawa, being a mostly bilingual city, has announcements in both French and in English. Additionally, at certain stations they announce other things, such as Via Rail at Tremblay or Byward Market at Rideau Station. Tremblay Station. Via Rail. Station Tremblay. Via Rail. One of the main reasons Ottawa is a bilingual city is its incredible integration with the Quebec side of Gatineau. And that's where we get to our next part, the future of this region. And as you can see, this is because the Ottawa and Gatineau region have two different transit agencies, the STO for Gatineau and the OC Transpo for Ottawa. And here you can see there's actually more STO buses than Ottawa buses on this part of Ottawa. But we're actually taking a bus to uh, Gatineau. Uh, which ironically is not even one of the STO buses, but the uh, 15 Gatineau bus. So I'm in Gatineau right now, where the future of light rail in the Ottawa region is. So Gatineau is currently planning a Gatineau LRT and is still awaiting funding. Recently, the NDP, federal NDP, supported funding this from the federal government and needs some Quebec funding as well. This LRT would tie into the Ottawa transit area, which would be very good for integration of these two or well, basically the same urban area, but these two different cities. Now, there are multiple proposals for this, and it hasn't fully been finalized, but the issue comes to the capacity at Bayview Station. 
Get to know us, consider going over the Prince of Wales Bridge to connect to Baby Station, where Line 2 also is, making a very convenient interchange station. Ottawa, however, claims that Baby Station doesn't have enough capacity to handle this, and has proposed Lyon Station instead. The last proposal is the Loop proposal, which is championed by some people in both cities, which would extend Line 2 into Gatineau and attach to Lyon with the Gatineau LRT. No government has confirmed any of these plans, and we have yet to see which one will be chosen. But let's hope for the best. As long as there isn't some unnecessary second tunnel that might be a bit expensive and just a bit silly. So, let's just hope for good integration between the systems and cooperation. Less, Ottawa's on a lot for its transit in the past few years. Ottawa, Canada's capital. 